channel noob coders so first of all thank you i our channel has reached uh, 100 subscribers so thank you all for supporting for those who haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel so today we are going to solve tcs dca practice question number 3 there was a long gap i was busy with some work so today we would be doing two questions question 3 and question 4 question 4 video will be up updated you know uploaded after this uh, this video so this is a quite pretty pretty easy question given a string find whether the forward and the backward shift are the same now what is a for example what are forward and backward shifts given a string noob coders forward shift is when you shift the first character to the last and backward shift is what when you shift the last character of the string in the front and what we have to do is that if both the forward shift and the backward shifts are same then we have to print 1 else we have to print 0 now we can see here that both are not same so we have to print 0 whereas in mama we can see that the forward shift and the backward shift are same so we have to print 1 so quite easy question so let's uh, start solving i will be explaining how to solve this uh, while we are doing it and hands on so we have taken the input from the user all right then we have to create another string which would be storing forward shift i'll name it as forward then so what we have done here is that for forward shift we want the string from first that is first location or from first characters that is o in here first location or the first place is o so what we have done is that we have taken the string from o till the end till s and what we have done is that we have added the first character that is n in the last so this is how forward shift has been done pretty easy concept you know it it can be understood by just looking at the code we have taken the string we have you know broken the string or we have taken the substring from first till the last and we have added the first character to it so this is forward shift similar would be for the backward shift that would be now what we are going to do is that in backward shift you can see that the last character comes at the beginning so what we will do is that we would be taking the character at last in the front so how do we do that let's see so that would be in dot caret in dot length minus 1 so what will do it will go to the last place length minus 1 always goes to the last place of the given array or a string so length minus 1 remember this that length minus 1 always will always take you to the end now in this the end is s so s would be taken first and we would be adding we would be adding the remaining string over there in dot substring now what would be the input parameters over here now since we want from we need the entire noob coders so what we would be doing is that we would be you know adding it right so let's see so first parameter would be zero and the last parameter would be in dot length minus 1 this is for backward shift now we compare now the question has been solved now we just compare if forward equal equal 
forward dot equals backward we would be printing one else we would be printing we would be printing zero so let's see so the compilation has been done properly now let's see the input just a minute here s wouldn't be there since s is shifted to the shifted to the front so s would be not there so let's run it now that wouldn't you know do anything but for your better understanding i have removed it this is our input string loop coders since both of them are not same are Backward shift and front shift are not same. It has been printed zero. Now, if you test with it, mama, let's see. It would give us an output as one. So this is the question. In in Java, now for those you can uh, pause and you can take a screenshot for those who don't know Java or know Python. I've already made a code over here. The logic is same. Everything is same. You can pause it and you can, uh, you know, take a screenshot of this code. And this is for Java. Thank you guys. Question number four would be out soon. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.